Hey everybody, it's Abby from Christian Novels doing another Stacking My Shelves video. Um, I got a lot of books the past two weeks, so let me show those to you. Uh, for review, I got Starring Me by Chris McGee, and I've already read this one and reviewed it, and I loved it. It was really good. I read the first book, First Date, and really enjoyed that one, so I think this one's better than First Date. It was actually pretty good. Next, I got Interrupted, Life Beyond Words by Rachel Coker. I also have already read this one. I still haven't reviewed it, but I absolutely loved it. Like, the author was 16 when she got it published, but only 14 when she wrote it. And it is phenomenal. Like, you honestly can't tell that she was that young. And then I got, my sisters got co double copies of a couple books, and so they gave them to me. Um, my sister Katie gave me Perfectly Dateless by Kristen Billerbeck. This one I've also already read, and it was really good. Um, looking forward to reading the other books in the series. And then my other sister gave me two of the series of unfortunate event books. I'm reading this one. Or this is the fifth book, so I won't read that right now. But um, she got the hardback cover, so she let me have those just to have a little light read. And then books I bought were actually quite a few books this time. Um, I got. We went to Salvation Army, and I got The Vigilante's Bride by Yvonne Harris. And I wouldn't have normally bought this, but it was only three dollars. It was pretty good, and the plot actually sounds really interesting. So he like ends up kidnapping her accidentally or something like that. But it sounds like it'll be a really good story. And then we also went to Half Price Books, and I got It's All About Us by Shelley Adina. Just looks like a fun read. And for 50 cents, I got a brand new copy of Lori Wicks of the Rescue. I've read this one a couple times. It was my favorite in the series. Didn't really like all the other ones in the series, but I threw it for 50 cents in this nice of condition. I would get it. And then another one, I got this a while ago too. I got Do Hard Things by Asmara Harris. I bought a couple, a couple, like maybe a month or two ago. But my copy had a dent in the cover, and so I found this brand new one for a dollar, and I was like, well, I'll get a brand new copy and get my siblings one, my old copy. And then I also got um, The Cowboy Takes a Bride by Deborah Clopton. This one was also 50 cents. It's not as nice in condition, but it's not too bad. I'm not a huge, like, paranoid about the condition if they're love-inspired ones. And so that one looks like a cute story. And then well, a couple of books I'm pretty excited about. I read Jane Eyre on my Kindle a little while ago, and so I kind of just wanted to own the book. And we were shopping at her first books, and I found this beautiful copy of it. I'm like so in love with it. So Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, and I just absolutely love this cover. So I'm looking forward to having this pretty book on my shelf. And another books I got also by the same company that did the um that one, but I got Journey to the Center of the Earth. By Jules Verne, and uh, a book my sister and I read had this like in the plot some, so I kind of made us want to read it. So we got I got it so we could read it. And then from CBD I bought uh, Too Rich for a Bride by Mona Hodgson. This is the second book in the Sisters of Sinclair Creek, Sinclair Sisters of Cripple Creek. Sorry. Well, um, so. I'm looking forward to this. I also am getting a third book in the series to review, so that'll be fun. And then I got Scattered Petals by Amanda Cabot. I had the first one read it and really enjoyed it, and this one's a copy was a dollar, brand new from CBD. So I just not you that first chance I got. And then lastly, I bought Healer's Apprentice by Melanie Dickerson. I've already read this one. I really, really enjoyed it, but it was four dollars from Amazon and I have prime shipping so it was just four dollars no shipping so I totally was like get in man I love the cover of this one it's really pretty the back's pretty interesting too so that is what I got to stack my shelves this week um let me know what you got bye